buddies and welcome back it's Antifi and today we have the new Huawei Nova 10 Pro with us we just got it we just unpacked it and now I'm gonna show you how you can set it up and go with you through the first steps this is the phone it looks kind of fancy from the back with the golden camera here and um, the silver back that's it from the front as normal with a black screen let's turn it on press the power button so first thing we see when the phone turns on is that the camera is well integrated in the screen so now it welcomes us and we can do an emergency call and have the oh and have the reading aid here so we can also um, change the size of the text again. When you go back, you can get started here or, oh, you can choose between different languages. That's cool. Um, we'll stick with English and get started. Select a region. We are in Germany, so we choose Germany next slide so now you need to agree to the terms of use click here i have carefully read and agree to the terms above here are also some basic service statements you can see for the details also here for the details um, you can read it for yourself i'm not gonna read through it right now and then we click on next now it asks us to insert a SIM card. We have a separate video for that, so we skip this part now. Connect to Wi-Fi. Um, you want to connect to Wi-Fi so you can like watch movies, download apps and well send messages on WhatsApp or whatever else. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi right now. Then click on password and then put in your password. So I put in my password now. Um, if you click on this I, you can see what you typed in. I'm not gonna do that for safety reasons right now, but um, you can totally do it to see if you put it all in correct and then click on connect. Hopefully I put it all in right. I did not. Okay, try again. Okay, here we go again, connect, finally. <laughs> okay, now we're connected to Wi-Fi and then we click on next data and privacy. Okay, now you can read through this, get more details about data and privacy. Um, not gonna do that right now. You might wanna do it just to know what you agree to here. Um, I'm gonna click on next and then now we come to device protection. Um, we can set up a fingerprint ID, a face recognition or a password. Um, we also make a separate video for that. So we skip this part right now. Wawa ID, your Wawa ID gives you access to all of Wawa's cloud services, log in or create an account to get exclusive member benefits, offers and more. So now we click on next. Now we need to put in our Huawei ID. If you don't have one, you can totally um, create a new one. I'm going to put in my ID right now. So I put in my data right now for my Huawei ID. Again, if you click on this I, it will show you your password. Um, so you can check if you put it all in right. Then we click on log in allow agent ask or to send and view sms messages allow okay after you clicked on log in you have to verify your identity or at least i had to do it i send it to my email and now i put in my code okay after i put in my code we're going to the next slide okay now we're coming to the cloud now you can decide what you want to save in the cloud your gallery your browser your calendar contacts um, cloud backup if you disable that the cloud backup automatically backs up data to make it easier to switch phones um, if you want to turn that off you can totally do so but if you leave it on you can when you get a new phone um, 
you can just send your data from the cloud to your new phone so you don't have to like send it back and forth between the phones so we leave that on we say we want to save photos and contacts you can also enable that later in the settings so we click on next privacy notice okay next permissions and user agreement agree so now we come to a next slide find device um, you can access find device on a Huawei device or at cloud.huawei.com. You have the options to locate your phone here. When this is on, it will send the location to a server when the battery is about to run out. You can also turn that off. I find that pretty practically if I ever lose my phone, I think that would be a nice gadget to have and then to find to find my phone so we go to the next slide find device has been enabled yep is okay now the phone asks us to put in a screen lock so we have to set up a pin i'm gonna go with six times zero right now then re-enter your pin click on done um, you want to be a bit more creative but we also have another video where I show you how you can customize your lock screen now we have here the next slide media services you can read through it and enable Huawei video service or the book service um, but you can also enable or disable that later Huawei in-app purchases after adding a payment method you can use it to make secure payments in app gallery cloud and themes okay now you can add a bank card or a phone number to make payments um, but you can also add that later i'm gonna add it later um, so we click on add later okay now we come to hms core settings Add ID statistics is enabled, personalized ads are enabled. You can also disable that, um, click on that button and then go back and then you see it's disabled. Automatic update when enabled, HMS core will update automatically from time to time. Um, you can disable that again through the button here. You can leave it on, up to you. Um, choose whatever you liked and then next slide now the phone informs you about enhanced services you can read through it enable service set up enhanced service or say no thanks um, i'm pretty sure you can also set it up later again i say no thanks for now user experience improvement program so you can join here um, to a program to share your experience with Huawei. That's long story short. You can read through it, um, get more information there. Um, you can join or join in later. I'm gonna click on later. Um, share analytics, no thank you, but you can also enable that and then the phone will send analytics um, to Huawei. We're gonna say later, location services. Um, that just means that your phone will share its location. You can enable that or say you want to enable it later. Keep your software up to date. Enable overnight updates to enjoy the latest features, enhance security and service improvements. When enabled, updates will be automatically installed between 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. as long as your device isn't used. You have no other option than to say enable and continue. Um, so we have to go with it. Um, now the phone goes to data import. So you can choose to import your old data or data from your old phone. We're not gonna do that right now because we don't have another old device to import data from. But you can choose here um, to like use your old phone um, then restore from Huawei Cloud Backup or set up as a new device. So we go with um, set up as a new device. So now we have new navigation gestures. Get around your device faster with navigation gestures. Simply swipe to go back, return home or view recent tasks. Give them a try. So we cannot skip this part. We have to try the gestures. Swipe invert from the left edge. Okay, 
so that's how you go back, I assume. That's how you go to your home screen. <laughs> Ah, okay, and that's how you can decide. Okay, decide um, if you want to go back to another slide where you were before. Um, okay, use gestures. Um, you can change your navigation method here, or you say you're finished. Let's see. When we want to change it, use three key navigation. Okay, that's what we're used to with the three dots. But we go back to the new gesture and say finished. Now we're at app gallery, get these popular apps. Nine are already selected. Let's see if we can, ah yeah, we can unselect them. If you don't want one, don't need one, you can just click on the little check there and then um, take it off. But you can also choose other apps you might like. I don't want any of these right now. You can also select all um, and then go to next slide. So now we're at our home screen. All right. That was the first setup, the first steps through the phone. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.